The insurance company has done an about turn after initially refusing to pay a 2.4 million rand claim to the family of Nathan Ganass. The group now says it's going to pay out and this is after a huge public outcry. Remember that Nathan Ganass was killed uh, by gunshot wound uh, and Momentum refused to pay out on the grounds that he did not declare uh, higher blood sugar levels. He did not declare that some tests had been done at the time of the initial contract or Although the two didn't seem to be linked uh, in the eyes of many in the public. We're joined by the CEO now, Johan LaRue, on the line. Uh, Johan, what's, uh, what's happening? Uh, exactly what is your stance right now? Yes, good evening, Francis. I think, uh, you know, it's been a, been a tough two days. Uh, Momentum decided not to pay a claim based on material non-disclosure. Um, but we also realized, you know, the, the reality of violent crime is a reality in South Africa, and we needed to find a solution to this also. So um, we actually designed a, a, a brand new guarantee that we offer to all our clients where, in the case of a violent crime event, where they pass away and the benefits were reduced as a result of medical non-disclosure, we will pay an amount to effectively top up that benefit to the previous uh, sum assured. So this allows us, obviously, you know, to, to offer comfort to all our clients that do pass away as a result of violent crime, that even uh, they might have non-disclosed medical information that the loved ones will be looked after. Um, it's, uh, uh, it won't impact our existing clients' premiums because we don't fund it from clients' premiums but from uh, Momentum's profits and believe this is a, a nice solution. So in fairness to uh, uh, all clients that pass away in this fashion, it will make it also available to our existing clients, to future clients, but also most importantly, retrospectively, to clients that in the past also, um, as a result of medical non-disclosure, had their benefit amounts reduced. And we're actually in the process of tracking those clients and we'll engage with them in the next few weeks to um, uh, offer them additional payments. So, so you've bowed to massive public pressure um, is, is this to save your reputation, Johan? I think, Francis, it's important to note that, uh, that the principle of, 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 of proper disclosure when a client takes out a policy still stands. It's a very important principle, um, and we can't compromise that principle because it makes uh, premiums unaffordable. But we did realize, you know, uh, uh, we did need to find a solution for this specific issue, and that's why we designed a brand new almost guarantee that we offer to clients. And by making this retrospectively applicable, we can now also make a payment to Mrs. Ganas. Mm. By bowing to, to pressure, you know, people could still think that maybe behind the scenes when there's not social media watching, when there's not a huge public outcry, you will continue uh, to look for ways to not pay out claims. I think that was at the heart of the matter, that insurance companies will get a whole lot of actuaries, uh, a lot of intelligent people to find ways to not pay out claims. I think, Francis, that was quite a tough and momentum because that's not our heart. You know, we're truly in the business of paying claims. We also stated publicly that only four out of a thousand claims were declined, you know, last year as, as a result of material non-disclosure. I think what this benefit does, it does give more peace of mind to our clients, also our existing clients. And we trust through that we can actually show our proper heart and our proper intent. And that is to to actually, you know, publicly again state that Momentum is in fact in the business of paying claims. Yeah, but you didn't show it initially. No, I think the point is we acted according to the non-disclosure from the client, and I think we've, we've articulated that point. I think this is an important point. We still haven't changed, you know, what is an important practice in the insurance industry that uh, when clients also need to act in good faith when they take out an insurance policy, and we still need to... Um, to, I think, what you realize afterwards, uh, uh, take responsibility for more education in industry around that as well. And I trust that you know, Momenta will also be able to take the lead on that one. Can, can I clarify something? So if you don't declare initially that you have a high sugar levels um, and then you die of cancer, so not a gunshot wound, but cancer, you still won't get this, this payout. So, so it does seem to me um, like you are dealing with the PR problem and not the overall problem because there will, can still be a huge disconnect. I think it's important to note that we deal with the problem of violent crime, um, and that's a specific South African reality that we that we tackle in this fashion. We we, we can't solve the problem of, of material non-disclosure. It's still very important that clients acknowledge that when they do take out a policy, they actually disclose properly. 
What are you going to do to help people understand what they need to do in taking out an insurance claim yes. to protect I themselves down are, the line? Yeah, we, we're doing a lot more work around uh, proper uh, uh, brochure material that we can give you know, our clients to all financial advisors when they interact with clients to actually create more awareness in this regard. And I think that will actually benefit the whole industry, not just Momentum. All right. Uh, I think let's leave it there. Maybe just in finality, Johan Leroux, what, what has Momentum learned from this? I think the important thing is to listen, you know, to listen, what, uh, to, listen to the market and to, to listen to the sentiment also uh, in the industry. You know, we, uh, it's, it's an evolving industry and, you know, your, your product suite and your benefit solution also, also need to evolve over time. And it's important to respond to, to the needs of, of South Africans. All right, thank you very much, Johanna LaRue, CEO of Momentum. Uh, Momentum really facing a lot of pressure, facing the heat, and now saying that it will pay out the 2.4 million rand claim. Uh, let's see how South Africans who criticize the company heavily respond to that.